Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly, truly appreciated and welcome back darling. You guys, today I'm giving you all the fall vibes I can, okay? But let's be real, it is 116, okay? Here where I am, it is 112 degrees outside already and it's not even one o'clock yet. So if that gives you any indication on how hot it is, we are having a heat wave. Girl, we are not here to hear about the heat wave. We want the heat for the fall. I have eight fragrances, unisex fragrances I might add. So what do you mean by that? A man can wear them, a woman can wear them, a boy, a child. If you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you already know a human can wear these fragrances. They are hot, they are heavy, they are sexy, they are bold, they are long lasting. The sillage is there, they fill a room. Somebody is definitely, definitely gonna say, excuse me, what are you wearing? Can I take you out tonight? Okay, you guys, let's jump into this video. I'm going in no particular order. I am going to give you my opinion, where you can wear them to, how they project, how they fill a room. I also will mention a few keynotes. However, everything will be linked in the description box below. Why not just start it off hot? Coming in, like I said, in no particular order, but we are going to start with this sexy bomb unisex fragrance right here, and that is none other than Tom Ford. Rose Prick. I have been speaking about this heavily ever since I got it. You guys, this is sexy. This is just very Szechuan peppery to me. It's good. It's inviting. It's not beast beast mode to the third power or even the tenth power, I should say, but it is really, really good. Let me give you a few of the keynotes in this fragrance, you guys. May Rose, Bulgarian Rose, Turkish Rose. Okay, it has patchouli. It's spicy. It's floral. It's woody. It's good. It's just Oh my gosh, it just takes me there. It's very sexy. I would wear this on date night. I would definitely wear this on a first date. I would wear this if I was trying to make a first impression. Hello? Or a lasting impression. I mean, this just might be the fragrance you wear and you say, I'm sorry, it's not working out for us. It's over. He is forever or she is forever going to think of this fragrance and think of you all at the same time. This is one of those fragrances. Um, It does fill a room. I do notice that if I wanted to really, really project, I really do have to overspray it. It does get on the body. You don't smell a lot of the rose note in there. Way down in the background, I do get a lot of patchouli. I do get a lot of the spice. I get a lot of the pepper. It is perfect for fall. It is perfect for winter. You already know what I say. If you like it, wear what you want when you want, okay? Spray what makes you happy. This is Tom Ford Rose Prick. I move on. I'm just coming in hot, okay? I'm just coming in hot. Another one, sexy beast mode. Can be worn formal, informal, very nice. Um, Kind of what in the world when I first got it and smelt it and got my first whiff of it. I did a whole what in the world kind of moment. Then I began to really love it. It didn't have to grow on me, but it was very complex in the beginning, um, early stages of me stumbling upon it. And I was just not ready for it. I couldn't compartmentalize it. I couldn't place it. Girl, what are you talking about? You guys, I am talking about Baccarat Rouge 540. Hello, yes. I oftentimes talk about Baccarat Rouge 540, the Extrite, which is my favorite out of the two because it's a tad bit softer and I love the almond note in that one. However, this one just does something for me and I really like this on me. I like this on my guy. I just think that I, I can't even talk. You got me tongue twisted. <laughs> I can't even talk. I just think that it's uber sexy. I think it gets on the body. It goes to work. I think it performs on everybody as all fragrances do on everyone's body chemistry just a tad bit differently. I have heard people compare it to medicinal, band-aids, different type of things. I didn't pick up on that. Maybe I did get a little bit you know, medicinal in the beginning, but as it wears on the body, and I oftentimes tell you the magic happens in the dry down, it becomes so warm, so sugary, so just, you know, melts into the skin and becomes sweet and sexy and just, intoxicating, addictive, where you smell it and you get a whiff of it and you just want more, okay? If you do not have this, if you have not tried it, I do recommend starting with a sample. It does cost a really pretty penny. However, if you order from the MFK website, you can save a few dollars. I will have that linked in the description box for you below. A few of the keynotes in this fragrance is amber, almond, saffron, jasmine, cedar, amagris. It is woody, it is musky, it is good, good. That is Baccarat Rouge. 540, the original. I move on. And sticking with the fire, okay? That was heat in a bottle. 
This right here, this next one, is fire in a bottle. It is fire in the bottle to the 10th power. It is good, good. It is sexy. This is a warm, spicy. A man can wear it. A woman can wear it. You guys, okay? A human can wear it. I repeat, wear and spray what makes you happy. I can't stress that enough. So many people are like, oh my God, I don't know if I can wear that. Do what makes you happy. Life is short. Hello? Okay, anyways, it has jasmine, saffron. It has ambergris. It has orange, lily of the valley, sandalwood, birch, oak moth, leather. It is smoky. It is heat. Girl, tell us what is it? <laughs> it is this one. Tinciana Terenzi Sperantino Florentino. And this is a beast, okay? This, all I hear is just coming in hot. I should just see fire go well, like, like a huge roaring flame of fire. This fragrance right here is hot. It is a beast mode. I do not believe, and I'm going to say this, and this is for every fragrance, but I just have to specify it on certain fragrances. This is not going to be for everybody, okay? This is not going to be for everybody. If you like that hot, heavy, hard hitting type of fragrance, you're going to love this. Um, if you like a leather, ugh, I, love, I can't talk. This is another one that has the tongue twisted. If you like that fire heat, that leathery note in fragrances, the saffron in it, you're gonna love this. Yes, this smells somewhat similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, it does. But the leather note in here, the birch, the oak moss has it to be just a tad bit different. And in my opinion, this has a little bit more heat. I find it to be a little bit more sexier. No, not really a little bit more sexier, but just hot, you know what I mean? It's just like, where are we going? Are we going out? What should I wear? What, should, what, what bag should I carry? It's that kind of fragrance. It makes you want to get dressed up. It makes you want to go out somewhere. Somebody is definitely going to ask you, what are you wearing? You know what I mean? It's a conversation starter. It is an attention grabber. It is definitely a double, double, double take. Oh, that was a triple take. Did you see that? It is a triple take. I love this fragrance. I stumbled upon it um, in my monthly subscription box of royalty scent. This is one that I smelled and then I went placed in order because I was like I have to have this I have to have this in my collection it is different the bottle in itself is beautiful you guys everything that I'm sharing with you today I have full detailed dedicated reviews on my channel to these fragrances already this is just a top eight in a lineup that I'm giving you that are perfect for fall and winter and they're both and they're all unisex but this one right here is fire if you have not tried it I highly recommend it it is a pretty penny however it is definitely worth it the longevity is there the siage is there this is like a 10 out of 10 in my opinion I move on not to say the other ones weren't Shree don't start judging fragrances if you're not going to give them all a 10 out of a 10 or a 10 out of a rating don't judge them anyways you guys I move on here is another one now let's take it a little bit more sensitive a little bit more creamy a little bit more cozy because when you think of the fall you think of the fireplace the leaves are starting to fall um, you could drive on the streets and you see the trees changing they get kind of reddish brown that's the color of this next juice that I'm telling you about this one is a warm vanilla it's amber it's saffron it has nutmeg it has jasmine it has orange blossom it is good good it's woody it's powdery it's sensual it's sexual girl what are you saying i mean i'm just saying it's good good you guys this is a perfect date night date day um if you're drifting into fall you know what i mean i mean if you're drifting into the evening it would be great but i do like this in the nighttime. i can i find it to be easy to wear uh formally or even informally but this is definitely one that is going to grab attention this is another one that i just get a cashmere sweater a nice you know blazer a top hat a scarf some boots and we are ready to go okay the car service has arrived and they're like where are we going where shall I take you to it's that type of fragrance I have it in a little decant and in a sample and this is none other than Tom Ford extreme noir oh my gosh this is so sexy I need to order a full thing I'm working on a video right now the decants that I have that are full bottle worthy and this right here is definitely full bottle worthy it's spicy it's got that warmth to it it's got that depth to it it fills the room it projects extremely well it's definitely a beast when it comes to you know longevity it's definitely going to get on your clothes your hair it's definitely going to get on your body especially if you overspray like i do if you're an oversprayer hashtag in the comment section oversprayer i definitely am and i'm not ashamed to admit it eight to ten sprays with this We'll have you sitting nice for the entire night, even into the wee hours of the morning.
Okay, I'm just saying, I move on. Sticking with Tom Ford, another one that is extremely uber, uber sexy. Oh my gosh. A man can wear this, a woman can wear this, a human can wear this fragrance. It is a warm, spicy, it is sweet, it has cacao, jasmine, it is luxurious, it is sensual, it is luminous, it has depth, it's kind of gourmand even, oh my gosh, it has vanilla, it has patchouli, it has sandalwood, long lasting wouldn't be the word for it. It is a beast when it comes to longevity. It is a beast when it comes to projection. It is a beast when it comes to sillage. This is a beast when it comes to being one of her, Sheree's, favorites and that is Tom Ford Black Orchid yes yes and yes and you guys wait up hold up I have ordered the new version that has come out the all gold bottle I blind bought it I have never smelled it but if it smells anything like this bring it on I just put it in the cart and I just press you know send you know send it in send it over um this right here is good there's not enough I can say about this I have talked about this in every fall, winter, even the summer, every favorites video, this is in it. I love this fragrance. It's just something about it. Now listen, if you've never smelled it before, I highly recommend getting a whiff and sampling it first. It could be very polarizing. Some people really, really love this fragrance and some people really dislike it. It is very complex. It gives you a whole lot. You know what I mean? I like to consider this fragrance a little bit like me. You just don't know what you're gonna get, okay? It's very complex, it's sweet, but then it's kinda like a lot, a whole lot to handle. And then it's definitely doing the most. And then at the same time, it's sweet and it's kinda Grimond even and then you have those vanilla notes in there and depending on your body chemistry They can get on you and they can go in and work really well And then I have you know smelled it on others or have heard others opinion and it did not go so well So in my opinion, it's a 10 out of a 10 and I absolutely love this if you're looking for something for fall winter to up your you know fragrance you know collection or your perfume collection and you want something that you can share with your guy your bae your boo another human okay this would definitely be a way to go i highly do uh, however i do highly recommend starting with a sample it is good good but it's not for everybody that is tom ford black orchid i move on i don't know what's wrong with me today oh my gosh i have you know what's wrong with me you guys a, a 2.5 okay is this the first 2.5 okay 2.5 listen I am so excited to be talking about fall winter fragrances. Yes, I love the summer. Hello, my birthday is in the summer. It is hot, it is heated. Even 2020, in spite of everything that's going on, God is good, okay? I had a great summer. I had a good ride. I'm still alive. I'm still blessed. I still have, okay, I'm not gonna preach. But you already know, you can look and see. I'm still good, so I, I'm not gonna, you know, despite the face rash that I got, hello. Anyway, that's another story. But. I love fall winter fragrances. They just are more depth, they're more cozy, they're more sexy, they're more amplified. I even like winter fashion more. Okay, we're not here, I move on. Another one, I just, you guys, you know how it is, okay? I would just share with you exactly what I'm feeling when I'm feeling it. But let's move back to the video. Another one, this is an, okay, this is definitely not gonna be for everybody. But there is going to be a few people <laughs> a few souls out there who loves it as much as I do. You guys, this is a warm, spicy, it is an oriental fragrance. It has some benzoin, it has some frankincense, it has some patchouli. I love patchouli. I'm a huge lover of patchouli, clean patchouli, dirty patchouli, 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 patchouli. She loves it, okay? And that is Chanel Cremonzo. I love this fragrance. It's so sexy to me. I think this smells good on a man, it smells good on a woman, okay? I think it's very unisex in my opinion. Any human who would like to wear it can wear it. It makes me feel rich, it gives me grab your cashmere sweater, maybe a Burberry trench coat. It doesn't have to be Burberry, okay you guys? It could be any kind of trench coat you want, okay? But grab yourself a wool coat, a nice scarf, grab your handbag and let's go. A leather bag would be good. It doesn't have to be real leather, I'm just saying. OMG. This is a beast. This is very long lasting. This is gonna get on the clothes, the body. If you spray it in your room, it's gonna be there when you get back. It is gonna awaken you at the door, okay? It is there. It is not playing any games and I absolutely love it and that is Cromando by Chanel. The Les Exclusive line. I move on. This next one is for 
the mysterious. You know what I mean? The ones that are even a little bit more than more complex. The ones that are doing a little bit even more than doing the most. This is a person who is just not afraid to be seen, heard. When they walk in the room, you know that they're there. Not only are they gonna catch your attention, their fragrance is gonna capture your attention. Everything that they oud is just gonna capture your attention. Like I said, this fragrance is a unisex fragrance. It is woody, yes, it is an oriental fragrance. It is mysterious, it is creamy. It has cinnamon, neroli, jasmine, peach. Um, it has some leathery notes in it, some amber notes in it. It definitely got some oud in it. It's got some musk in it. It is uber sexy. And I'm so excited to have this in my collection and I cannot wait to rock this this fall and winter. And that is Guerlain, Guerlain Santal Royale. Oh my gosh, this bottle alone is so sexy and so classy and just so everything that I embody to be. I love it. It is so uber good. I smelled this one time at the Guerlain counter and the sales associate was so kind to make me a sample and I just used it ever so, you know, lightly last fall and winter and I was like I have got to add this to my collection I do not need this to be my scent of the day like I said it is like 112 116 outside but I want to spray this so bad you guys this is so much fire so much heat so much sexiness so much mysteriousness in a bottle it is just very sexy to me it's very oriental it's that lady that I told you guys about on the channel that talks with that dark deep voice and she goes hello darling so glad you can make it today, darling. She's one of those, you know what I mean? She's just sexy, she's very confident. Where would you wear this to? Oh, definitely a date night. A date night, a steak dinner. I wouldn't wear it to like a, a play or the movies or anywhere like that. I find that it might be a bit too much to be sitting with someone you don't know in close quarters like that. Um, If it was like a some type of evening wedding. I don't know who's getting married in the evening, in the fall, you guys, but hello, things are happening nowadays. But if it was somewhere where it was gonna be opening, I would wear it. You know, around the holidays, there's grand balls, there's Christmas parties, there's different things like that. This is definitely somewhere you would wear something like this too. Somewhere where you're gonna walk in and you're gonna leave that scent trail and they're gonna be following behind you like, what are you wearing? You smell absolutely amazing. It's definitely gonna spark up a conversation. That is, Guerlain Santal Royale. I move on. This next one. Oh my God. This list is just fire. If you agree with me and you think this whole list is just fire, go ahead, take 2.5 seconds, hit the subscribe button if you like the content and you enjoy the vibe. Give the video a huge thumbs up and hit a fire emoji in the um, comment section because I'm not even trying to be biased. I just think that this list right here so far is fire. And this one right here is about to take it to the next level. Like I stated, a man can wear it, a boy, a child, a human. A human can wear this next fragrance. Let me give you some of the notes. This here is another hot and heavy, spicy. Some of the main accords in this fragrance is leather, white floral, it is woody. It is definitely a warm, spicy, aromatic type of fragrance. It's got some cardamom in it. It's got some jasmine in it. It's got patchouli, it's got amber, it's got musk. It is a beast when it comes to projection. It is very long lasting. It is very sexy. It is very intoxicating. It is none other than, I guess, this man just does fragrance very well when it comes to hot, heavy, sexy fragrances in my opinion. And that is none other than Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Oh my gosh. Some leather, okay, leather, full leather, whatever kind of leather you want. A leather jacket or some leather pants, some stiletto heels, a nice bag, a bold red lip. Put this on, he can wear it, she can wear it. We are going out, okay? This is that sexy date night. This is that date where you just say, you already know. You knew what it was when you signed up. You know what I mean? Does anybody like Drake? I mean, that's, that's the lyric that he says, and every time I think of this, I'm just thinking of that. That's what it is. I don't know if this little thing on the bottle is leather, however it looks like it. The bottle, the presentation, everything about this fragrance, I really love. This is the EDP. I know there was something else that came out that was kind of similar to this that Tom Ford had. Um, it was good, uh, but I like this better. This is just the ombre leather and it is sexy. I stumbled upon this. We were walking through, was it Nordstrom's, Bloomingdale's, Saks Fifth, one of them you guys, okay? And I just said, oh, I haven't smelled that because normally I do the private line a lot. 
and I hadn't seen this bottle or this flanker or anything really. And so I had stumbled on upon it, uh, went up to it, and I picked it up, just not expecting anything, because I really didn't hear anything about it. I had never even seen it, as I stated. Put it up to my nose, and was like, oh. And then I sprayed it, and I was like, wait a minute. I need that. So I, ri I bought this for my guy, but we share it. I'm just saying, it's good on women too. It's good, good. This is definitely one that can be shared, you guys. This here, like I said, Beast in Projection, Beast in Siage. This is another one, if I was rating a fragrance, okay, I'm just gonna see it. This is a 10 out of a 10, in my opinion. It is good on longevity. You are definitely not gonna need to overspray. However, I overspray anyway. I will smell it the next day. I will see it, uh, I will smell it on my clothes, the next two days if I didn't take them to the laundry or dry cleaner or what have you because it's just a beast when it comes to projection. I absolutely love this fragrance. If you're looking for something smoky, something heat, something spicy, but something, you know, formally, it could be worn or informally. It all depends on how you're dressing up your attire that day. This fragrance can perform and it can definitely get it. It can definitely be that ride or die type of fragrance. It can take you through fall. I think in winter it really comes alive and it really projects and really presents itself really nicely because I feel as it gets even colder, you know, even where places where it snows, this is really gonna come alive and it's gonna be the life of the party and that is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. And that is it. You guys this is my list for my best unisex fragrances that I just picked up and went through in my collection I find all of these very appropriate for fall for winter but you already know spray what makes you happy and wear what you want when you want if you have enjoyed today's video please go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up if you are not a subscriber and you enjoy the content and the vibe please consider hitting the subscribe button and I will see you God willing in the next video until until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, stay fabulous, but more importantly, wear your mask and stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye!